Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize, it's a little dark, and I hope you can see and hope you can hear me. It's Friday. I think today's the 19th. Yeah, today's the 19th. Um, last, going into the last weekend of rifle season here in Nebraska, um, I'm back home. I'm not out in western Nebraska anymore. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, what footage I did get of my mule deer hunt um, and some of the other deer that were killed on that trip. Um, I'm in Solo. My dad is here, but he's south of me, probably a mile. We're on a pretty big piece of public. Um, I've turkey hunted here a lot and we always see a lot of deer. I was in here during archery season and I saw a really big buck in here. I do have a statewide buck tag, and but I also have a doe tag in here. Um, we'll see. I may just be looking for a buck today if I find one. Um, I might shoot a really big doe though as well. I'm going back and forth in my head because I'm bringing people down in this area tomorrow as well. And so I'm not sure. But I am, since I'm by myself, I don't know how much footage I'll get. I'm not even sure if I'm going to end up sitting. I might just kind of slowly walk through the area um, just to see what kind of deer traffic there is. And because it is public, um, you do have to walk a ways back in here to get to where the deer are. So I don't really know um, how many people hunt it for rifle. I've never been here. I'm always on the other side of the state for opening weekend. So... But this is my first time with a rifle in my hand hunting this spot, so we're going to see how it goes. Um, point is, is I, I don't know what, what kind of footage I'm going to get. I'll try and keep you guys updated. Um, you might also just get a super excited video of me again after I shoot a deer. Um, the person I'm really hoping can whack a deer today is my dad, though, because he's yet to pull the trigger this year. Um, he's in a, a pretty good spot. And I think he can, I think he could potentially get it done. We're like four or five minutes away from shooting light here. I still got probably another three or four hundred yards to go before I get to where I want. But I'm kind of waiting until shooting light so that I can uh, just be ready if something pops out. So stay tuned. If you're seeing this, it probably means that I whacked a deer or I had a cool one cool uh, experience so wish me luck all right i'm in my way back in here i kind of just still hunted all the way in here just slowly walking down that path i don't know probably a quarter mile back to my east there's a guy sitting on the private in a truck private land they can do whatever they want but that's just not my form of hunting I did see one doe but she was on private probably a year and a half year old doe nothing too big but heard a couple shots to my northwest doesn't surprise me too much because there's a lot of deer back there I heard one shot to my south which again really doesn't surprise me because there's deer back there. The wind's supposed to get pretty bad today. So I don't know how long I'll sit up here, but I'm in one of those spots that just overlooks a lot. And I'm hunting, but at the same time, I'm kind of hunting for tomorrow. When I have some of the guys.
that was tough. That was real tough. It's one of those catch 22s. Do I shoot him? <coughs> do I shoot him today? I'd be happy with him. Or do I hope that that deer makes it to next year and becomes an absolute stud? understands that dilemma that I just had right there. Oh. He's a young, young buck. He's got great, great potential. Like, if that deer can just make it, that thing could become a stud. I like to, he had like a little like turkey foot. If he can make it through the season, that deer will be big next year. But it's hard to tell whether he'll make it through the season. And the other dilemma is if I had anybody else here, anyone else here with a tag, a buck tag, I'm letting them shoot that deer. 100%. hoping that deer makes it through season and I didn't just make a stupid mistake but this year there this area has really really good genetics and I've seen some big deer back in here so I'm hopeful that the private around us <coughs> I'm, I'm hopeful that everybody around us is kind of let them go let them grow say if I come back here with my muzzle letter I'd shoot that deer all day with my muzzle letter 100% by now a lot of the deer are hunkered down. Like I mean it's supposed to get worse too. There's a tree line on the far end of this property. I've never walked through it at all. But it's in a bowl. I'll show I'll pan to it and show you here in a minute. But it's in, in a bowl.
does mean that I will not be carrying the camera and that you guys will be on my back and likely I will not get any form of shot on camera if I get the opportunity.